we made it back up here. Uh, this is Sunday evening, so we're going to try to work a few hours. Um, maybe pull some carpet tonight, finally, get some of this out of here. I think we'll start back on that end of the house and uh, see what we can't get out of here. Hopefully it won't take too long to get a good portion of it out. Um, I think we probably need to change clothes though. We've got our church clothes on. So, how do they do that? I see him do it. Hmm. That works pretty good. <laughs> yeah. You even got your hair Ooh. put up. Yeah. It did Where's everything. my lid? Oh. I didn't get a lid. It didn't didn't work as well as we thought. No, we're not gonna do that again. No lid. Okay, so I think we're ready to get to going. We're gonna go back to that back bedroom and start ripping some carpet. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time, it's clear to see From up here, the world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful, you and me We're meant to be Outdoors, forever free. through to our last room and it has a few spots of it where something's either been spilled or a plant's been or something here and there but overall the floor under the windows and everywhere is pretty good shape as far as water damage or anything like that goes I know there's some damage in there in that bathroom that uh, is gonna have to be taken care of that floor will probably all come out and be redone but um, now this is all good in here, everywhere, and that right there is two hours of nothing but fun piled up there. It's a little damage along this wall, and I'm and right there at this corner. So I don't know for sure what has caused that. You're just going to have to get some more of this flooring out, but the sink is on the opposite side of that damage there, so I'm assuming that we had a leak at one time there. So that room's got it out. So we've got a lot of cleanup to do yet. All of the strip around that held the carpet down has got to come up. All these staples, a lot of vacuuming and cleaning all these little scraps of 
foam, but we're gonna call it a, a day now and head home and get ready to go back to our day jobs tomorrow. And we'll come back one evening this week with a dump trailer and load this out and maybe pull some more tack up and just do some more cleaning. But I don't know if we've just got used to it in here or what, but it already seems like that smell has gotten better, especially when you go back to that end of the house. So for now, we're going to call it a night and we'll, we'll be back. Please like and subscribe. Well, we made it back up here uh, today to pick up a little bit around here. Hopefully get some of the floors cleaned on up from the carpet removal the other day. Um, we've still got to haul that pile of carpet off, but we're going to, don't have a lot of time, but we're going to try to pick some of this mess up and uh, see how that goes. We did want to get some light going in here though, and I come over here and pulled the cover off of this one just because I wanted to see if it would be a little brighter without the lens on it, the cover. And somebody was a do it their selfer. They've got a pencil in there and a straw that helped hold that in place. I don't know for sure what they was thinking. Or maybe drinking, I don't know. <laughs> Something's, they don't have any business with tape and pencils and straws, so somebody needs to put the tape, pencils, and straws away. So, hopefully we won't find any more messes like that as we go through this place, but, uh, if we do, we'll fix them. We'll fix them if we do. This is coming down anyway. All the lights are going to be replaced, so it's not that big a deal, but my lands. <laughs> kind of funny. Alrighty, here we go. This is something else we came across. It's under the wall. I'm sure it was manufactured that way, but it's gonna be a little bit tougher to get out. Of course, the carpet is up under the wall as well. Not ideal. This one's completely under the wall. It goes way back under there. I'm not sure what we're gonna do about that. Over here, while I was pulling it up, these are just strips. They're not tack strips. They don't have tacks in them. They just are held down by staples. And 
I guess the carpet was just stapled to them up against the wall. I'm not really sure. I guess it served its purpose, but it just seems kind of odd. So we went around and got all the tack strip up. At least we got most of it up. Uh, Somebody got the vacuum, but they didn't get the tubes that make it a handle. So we've got a vacuum with a hose. So we're probably not going to vacuum the floor today. I don't want to mention any names of who forgot it because that just would be unfair. <laughs> but that person will probably remember the next time. And we'll have that to vacuum with. Penny, heads up. Penny saves, Penny earned. Well, we been through the house. We didn't bore you with all of the rest of the rooms, but we've been through here and done uh, all the other rooms. This was the room that we had the camera set up while we was working on. <coughs> this room's done. And these bedrooms back here are done, and the closets, so we're ready to do something else. Okay, so I believe we're going to call it a night, though, and uh, wrap this one up. Come back sometime and do something different the next time. But it does smell a whole lot better in here. It Just does. having that piled up over there made a huge difference. Right, yeah. I, it really surprised me. Uh, you notice it kind of over there when you first come in, but the rest of the house, it's not as noticeable. Not at sure. all. Not at all. I think when it, once it's out of there, that pet smell will be gone. I think it will. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's where it was. We at. didn't find really any bad places in the floor either, which was surprising. I mean, we found a couple uh, by this bathroom and, and at this wall right behind Lisa, but. Really, there was, was no big rotted areas or anything. It's all pretty good shape. Uh, it's got its work that needs done, of course. But So, I think we're going to wrap it up. We're going to go home and take a shower. This is the 4th of July. And we got to go back to work tomorrow, so. Wah, wah. Yeah, party's over. So, we'll catch you all on the next one. We appreciate you coming along. And... Um, give us a, a like if you followed along to this point and subscribe if you would. We'd like to keep you along because uh, we've got a lot more interesting stuff on the way and coming. So hang in there and it'll, it'll get better. Yeah, it's already getting better. Already getting better. So Okay, you all have a good one. Well, Lisa and I was uh, at Menards the other day and... We knew we was gonna have a lot of tearing out to do in this house and the tools we've been using was all right, but we wanted a few things that was a little better because we knew we had a lot of, uh, for one thing, a lot of tack strip to pull up. And that's what I got this for. And while we was there looking at it, Lisa found this and liked the looks of it. So we got it too. And it's got a little bit of everything on it. And it's a pretty stout tool too. But we've been using them around here, and they are both uh, pretty handy outfits. This is a 30 inch, made out of spring steel, but it's also got an angle on it. They're turned different directions. And this one can be a hammer or whatever, but it is also good at prying and pulling nails down there. And also pulling up tack strips. You pulled a lot of tack strip up I with did. it, did it? Worked yeah. well. On what? On the One, yeah. two, three, four. Four rooms you did. Mm -hmm. And two closets, I guess. Mm -hmm. So she got along well. Yeah. I did one room with this one and part of the living room. 
and two closets though. But mine was a really, really big room. <laughs> Don't let him fool you. <laughs> okay, enough about that. But they're pretty good handy tools if you want to do some demo and they've worked well for us. What are you going to do, Lisa Kay? I'm going to go home and take some Alive for my sete. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to get you there. Okay.